Hello again. This is a slight change in direction. This is, well, it's winter as you can hear outside. You might be able to hear the rain in the background. There's a bit of a storm blowing. And actually there's a bit of shooting. I think the shooting season is open. So you might hear a gunshot or two. This is, as it's winter, the farm is, uh, this is agricultural in nature. So it's not in use because of the season. And this is a mower controller for the auto swather of a mower. Now the auto swather is, it's a conveyor belt that sits on the back of the mower and when you drop it down with this button, a conveyor belt moves the grass from one row to the previous row. So when, when the auto swather is up, then the mower just cuts grass and it lands in a swathe behind the mower. When you drop it, then the, the 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 conveyor belt drops down into place, and that gra the, the, the mowed grass is then moved along the conveyor belt to the previous row. So, and this potentiometer sets the speed of that conveyor belt. So you're trying to land one row onto the previous row of grass, so you're collecting two rows. Now, you look at this and see that we've got two channels here, two channels here in a pot, so it's five channels of information or whatever. And at the back, we've got a 30, 31, I think it's 31, 37, 37 pin D connector. So you might think that's a lot of connectors for five channels, but if you look at the actual cable, if I grab it here, the cable is, it's just using uh, the seven wires of a trailer wire, so the, the old seven pin trailer socket. Now they might not be the same all over the world, but over in this part of the world, it's, it used to, they're kind of being phased out at the minute, but that's a seven pin connector for the tra trailer lights. And each of these wires, each color is actually soldered in between three of the pins. So we're actually only using seven. Well, there's, I should mention there's five signal wires here and then there is power. So the 12 volt from the tractor actually runs the whole length of the tractor down to a control unit. And then from the control unit, I'll just plug this in. And then from the control unit, it comes back up on these, on this line here and into the tractor's control unit. So that's one side of it. The other side of it is the actual mower control, which has a couple of inputs, which I've removed. One is the position of the the actual orders where they're up or down and the other is tells you the height of the mower so if you lift the mower off the ground when you're not cutting grass then it it automatically detects that on, on this channel one of the channels here but we've got three outputs two outputs are for the up and down of the actual orders whether to move it into position or, or drop it sorry to drop it into position or lift it out of position and then the the solenoid that we're interested in is this channel here, which sets the actual speed of the conveyor belt given an input on this potentiometer. So why are we looking at this or why am I looking at this? This is well, a break from the norm. It's There's a few issues with it. Well, just two issues really. And one issue is that when you turn the mower off, so if the mower, sorry, when, when you turn the auto swather off, so if the auto swather is in position, it should be turning at a speed that you've set there. And apparently when you turn the mower off, or no, sorry, turn the mower off, turn the auto swather off by lifting it out of position, it actually speeds up this, the, the speed you've set on the input here is ignored and it speeds up to as fast as it can go. And, and what that means is when you turn it off, when you lift the auto swather, it actually spits the last grass out very fast. So it doesn't land on the road where you want it to land. 
Um, the other problem is that when it is down and the conveyor belt is moving, apparently when you increase the speed to a certain point, it becomes unstable. The output from this becomes erratic and starts to speed up and slow down. Now that's what has been told to me. So we'll go through this. The green wire here I've got, I put this on first channel of my scope. That is the signal coming down from the potentiometer. And then on this red wire, I put it on channel B. That's the output to the solenoid. Uh, this solenoid is actually numbered one, I think. That solenoid connector, yeah, it's numbered one. That then goes to the hydraulic pump that sets the speed of the conveyor belt. And we we'll look at that output as well on the scope. Now, as I mentioned, the power is coming in on this big thick, it's almost like a mains wire here. Well, it's not mains in this country because mains wire would be um, grey, but it is quite thick and chunky. So power comes in from the tractor and then gets distributed back up to this control box over the seven wire connector, the trailer line. And that's it. I'll slow this down and I'll set it in the up position. And I'll look at the rest of this on scope so we can see what's going on. I haven't got a scope. So channel A is our analog input. So if I turn on my bench, I'm just running off a bench plier supply for the minute, just to show you that what's going on. So that's up. If I drop the auto swather, then it sets the speed and I can adjust the speed with my potentiometer. So there's me building up the speed and that's as fast as it's going to go, which is about four volts. And I can drop the speed to the slowest. Now if I enable channel B, that's going to be our output. And there's our output at the minute, as slow as we can go. Now the first problem that we mentioned there is that when we switch the unit off, the unit speeds up. So if we, that's us on at the minute and going as slow as we can. If I switch this auto swather off at the start of the next pass, you can see that there, that the reported problem is in fact a problem and it is a problem with the blue line. So it's actually coming from, if we go back, it's coming from the control box. So regardless, this is set to the slowest speed, regardless of that setting, when we turn the mower or the auto swather off, move it out of position, it should do what it's doing in this part of the graph, which is go back to zero volts and turn the solenoid off so the hydraulics are off. But instead, it actually goes to solid on instead of a, a pulse width modula modulation which it would be when it's in normal operation. And if I change the, the time base here, you can see it's stalled on me. Now oh, it's gone. So that's the first problem. Now the second problem is that when we speed up this so at the minute the blue is at the two volts. If I increase it, I'll set a trigger on this so it, and, and you can easily better see this. Now it flat lines there. So that's going to solid on. So it's 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 gone up to about eleven, just shy of eleven. 
volts or I don't know, it's hard to say on that but it's shy of 11 and that's it by now back to turning on if I put a trigger on if I put a trigger on channel B Is it not? Oh, there we go. No, so that's as fast as we can go before it goes solid on. And if I put in a, a measurement here, so B frequency, and we'll add channel B and the duty cycle. And we're sitting up at about 86%. According to this, and if I slow it, move this, move this back. So we're sitting about 86%, and it's been reported that. Like the second problem was that when you're at very high speed, the conveyor belt gets very erratic. Now this isn't a lot of travel, and I kind of I, I when I I looked at this on a scope on a benchtop power supply, I was I didn't actually think that the problem was there. So if we actually slow it right down, it becomes more stable. And it's just a slight a slight variation and if we drop it right down to the slowest that's as slow as it's going to go it's funny that the actual frequency as well as the duty cycle changing the frequency decreases so at the low, lowest speed it's at 326 hertz and 43 percent duty cycle and if we build up the frequency actually goes down to sorry it dropped out 130 hertz and 83 percent duty cycle but that fluctuation isn't it isn't really significant or doesn't appear significant so i actually went and plugged this back into the tractor and if i now go and find the waveform i recorded from the actual tractor when i plugged in all the solenoids it actually only happened when i plugged in all three solenoids and I don't know how this is to do with the fact that these this circuit is these two channels on this up and down of the actual auto where there are low side switches. I'm not sure if it's to do with something on the ground. Um, but yeah, I did get the problem. I'll find that trace and we'll go through that. So this is our trace at the slow speed we've got a duty cycle there of 47 percent on the last line of our measurements and as you can see it's 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 very stable um slight fluctuation now we're building building the voltage on the input channel in blue and we're up to 64 percent and it's still i mean there is a little bit of variation there but it's nothing too severe i mean we're going 63 to 64. Now I've gone up again 70% and you can actually see that it's becoming more erratic as we climb up our percentage our duty cycle. So that's we've just moved to 75% And it seems to fluctuate between 74, 75, 80. Actually, I must have moved it at that point in time up to 80. And there, at 80%, it's... Yeah, that is erratic. And, and it's not the control unit because you can see the blue line. The voltage is more or less stable there. But the red line is all over the place. And that I think is is it, it it is obviously affecting the output of that conveyor belt. 
as was reported and by the operator so there's an issue there and it takes me about two weeks there's a two week turnaround time or appears to be on these by the time I get back to doing another video so hopefully in, in, in the next video or maybe in future I'll have another video I'll create this as a, a new um, playlist on YouTube and see if I can't get to the bottom of this I don't even think I'm going to try and get to the bottom of the, the actual circuitry that came with the tarp control box because it's obvious that the control box is faulty when you switch off the auto swather it speeds up to its maximum speed and there's obviously a problem with the the, the controller on the mower side of the operation because it's erratic at high speeds so both of these are causing problems so I'm not even going to look at them I'll just probably try and design something else and implement the, con the control box in the tractor and the control box on the the input device I suppose on the tractor and the control box, box on the mower I'll try and implement both of those using a different uh, solution and see what, if it can get a more stable output to the mower and not have the erratic nature of it I'll leave that there I'll kill this video and then um, leave it there that's it that's the nature of our problem we've got uh, a dodgy control box and a dodgy dodgy output uh, pulse with my pulse with modulation signal to that solenoid thanks a million for watching hopefully it's of use I, I, probably not very much used to a lot of people but might be interesting and hopefully we get a solution to this and try something out so thanks for watching again